It's like we are learning and it's like we are knowing what is happening because we are being and we are the system. The system is a, it's a rotten system. The system is gone. When we say the system is gone, see somebody like the girl, see what he's saying. You know, it's a day one, it's, a day, it's one of the disciples of them. Many years ago, we did not say the truth. See, the truth must be said. Nigeria lack the truth. Let us speak the truth ourselves because Nigeria is suffering. We are suffering mentally. We are suffering. We are above suffering. Suffer, the way we suffer. This one on the face now. Maybe one with the last thing. One with the last thing. This one at times hundred. I can imagine where you be buying something one thousand day break. We say one five. Where are we going? Must every day rely in the government that, it, that it, the, the truth is not coming out of their mouth. See, the situation is getting worse. Now. So we are tired of them. Please. See, let them be frank with the system. Let them be frank with the truth. We in Nigeria are tired of what is happening with us. It's unbearable. Unbearable in the hands of the government that make an oath to save and protect life and property, to make them live as a human being. But at the end of the day, there is no truth, no hope, no life, no food. Nigeria, Nigeria, they chop food now. Nigeria, no same message. The land made devil a billion. They don't they are the material, they get the resources, they get the strength to hustle and go there with their they believe God. But now he now bring it down to the last level. No farm, no crops, nothing. Where are we going? Every day. We hear the same story. No day story change in the newspaper. Who is there? Are we going to hear the reality that will tell us the truth? Let us be sincere. See, let the leaders, let them change their hearts. Let God change your heart for us. You see, we have to pray because we cannot use ordinary mouth and dispose those people in the corridor of power. They are like they are, they are, they are, they are mafia. Let us say the truth. See, nobody is crying. But people are millions are crying. But the real people that say, Moku para, they look para. I thank God for joy because more of them will come. Because within the camp of APC, there is a disunity. Because majority of them are not happy what they are saying outside the, the party or the, the, the corridor of power. Go to the reality of humankind, humanity living is below, is down poverty level, is bad. So the government, I don't think if they continue like this, they can't come anymore. We don't even think that they will come anymore. Okay, is, the, the, next, is dangerous. Mm, the next, next president is coming up October 1. Do you not think the lack of Pastor De Boye, with our be article, they should come out and protest? See, one day they must come out and protest because if they don't come outside, who will come outside? Who will be coming outside? See, they are afraid of that last protest. See, the one that is coming now, see, I can't predict, but what I'm trying to let you know that we are Nigeria. We can't continue like this. We are not meant to do under the poverty. We are not in Egypt. We are. Israelite children, the children of the both side, but they live in God. We are not supposed to be in this type of condition. Let us separate the truth from the lie. You understand? Let the people in authority, like you, know, you, so, you just mentioned, like Adepoye, uh, Kumuyi, and uh, Redepo, let them spoke. Let them spoke. Let them come outside and spoke and tell the government that they are wrong. Let's change their attitude. No matter what's up, we can't be promising patient, patient, patient. It's not done. There is no particles of the positive of what you are saying. No particles inside the truth. The truth there. So, do, you know, do you not think they are not speaking up because of Tunubu is a Yoruba man? Are they not being Chabalist? They are not yeah, supposed to buy us. When you say you are a man of God, you supposed to speak. You are the spokesman of the people of God. You talk, you represent them. In the, in the presence of the most shy God, you understand? We don't fear. We let them live accordingly. Don't be called this one is my brother, this one is my child, this one is my religion. It's not in position of power, and the people are suffering. I can't say the truth because I'm afraid. No, you serve the living God. You are both the principality, the powers of darkness. You fear no more. The truth is God. Spoke the truth. That's why we are suffering here. And they are 85, 90 percent. They don't spoke the truth. How will you live without the truth? You can't live without God. It's impossible. That is that is that is a, that is a fundamental human rights truth. The government, 
they live with lie. They possess with lie. That's why you see suffering. Suffering and demonstrate itself because they don't lack the truth. So they should change and renew their mind. Not only renew hope. Renew hope is just a language. Let them renew their mind. Let them change their attitude. Let Nigeria benefit of what they call democracy. Stan was saying, we you know how benefit there. Yeah? They only dare benefit. We are just here in the we are still under the bondage. That's why we have to feel particles of what we are. We are Nigeria. We are a democratic elected them to rule of it now. You don't see the ruling in their hand. They should change. They should change their Nigeria. Laugh. And they let us laugh one more. We renew up. It's audio. It's audio. We hope, we hope never come accordingly of what you and I expect. It never come. They just force it. You can't force something. Do something. Doing is different from talking. You <laughs> ask We will see. We will see it. Not that you will do it. A year, never see what you do. So it's not even you hope it's different. You need your mind, you need your thinking, and let us know that you are not really president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> My life in Kijoko. It's Abama on the beat. Hapa. You were getting the way. You were going. Abama, my wedding. I got a guy. In Finland, mm. thanks to Finland government, mm. God bless Finland government, mm. thanks to all the whole nation, uh, uh, friendly nations of Biafra, friendly nations of Biafra. God bless all of them in Jesus' name. And Ekpa celebrated to what Angu Abdullah Mohammed was saying. Not only someone Ekpa is jubilating, I myself I am jubilating. Every breakfast is jubilating. Nam the car is jubilating. Finland of government, Finland people and all our Biafra friendly nations, they are jubilating. Because now Biafra government, Nam the Carlo, someone Eta, Biafra government in exile, the indigenous people of Biafra, the real indigenous people of Biafra. Ab Abdullah, I think I. Abdullah, Ango Abdullah have come to verify them that they, what they say is truth. Yes. They have come to verify Nam the Talon. Raise hand for him. Raise him now. That was Britain, that super glue to hold Nigeria. And that was super glue from 1914 have expired. Now it's getting weak. It's totally weak. You understand? Yeah. So, Angela Abdullahi said the truth. Nigeria have been corrupt. Corrupt not only when you loot, you loot money. Nigeria is dead and decay. And anybody who feels to answer Nigeria is already dead and decay. This is why Biafra is bubbling. This is why Biafra is still alive. We said no, we are not Nigeria. We are not dead, we are alive, we cannot be decayed. 
So, some on the Pacudo. Jubilate more. Throw party, fine, fine. Make it throw party in Finland. Thanks to Finland government. God bless Finland government. Thanks to all the whole nation, uh, uh, friendly nations of Biafra. Friendly nations of Biafra. God bless all of them in Jesus' name. Biafra government in exile. Biafra be no warriors. God bless every one of you in Jesus' name. It shall be only to someone later and a generation. The suffering of Nam de Kalo will never be in vain in Jesus' name. It shall be only to Nam de Kalo and his generation. Even Anglo Abdullahi, who came and speak that Nigeria should divide. Um, every sin I have committed with this word, may God forgive you in Jesus' name. And uh, it shall be well with him if he control like this. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So he has said the truth. But the one thing, Anglo Abdullahi should remember. The corruption like this, Trumbu heritage is from Buhari. Uh, this corruption, Trumbu heritage is from Buhari. And the Trumbu plant to Buhari there. It's Trumbu that plant Buhari. Without the Trumbu, Buhari cannot be there. And Trumbu plant Buhari so that Buhari will sow the seed of corruption for him. He will come and start reaping the seed of corruption. So it's a plan adventure. Well calculated. I told you that the Trumbu is a political calculator. He's a political Maradona. He's a political manipulator. He knows how to how to do zero point zero. He gives you hundred. Have you ever seen zero point zero? He gives you anything than zero. The trouble with this one, zero point zero gives you one million. You know how to do it. So but he's not one that planted the corruption. But now he's sleeping the corruption more than, more than any government that ever existing in Nigeria. He's getting the more benefit. Or division of corruption more than any government that ever exists in Nigeria. This is why he said, Emiloko, Emiloko, look me, it's my own time to collect. It's my own time to collect. He told me, go away. People, man, go away. It's the time for me to reap. After I reap, Nigeria can scatter. But I have to reap before Nigeria will scatter. That, that is game. So that's your own question of Emilio Kwan. Emilio Kwan, I have to read. It's my own turn. But, but do you think it's not that um, people like Ab Abdul uh, Ango Abdullah, do you think they will allow that to happen? Or is it already happening? Right? What, what, what do you think allow it to happen? Mm. What happened in the time of Buhari? Mm. So if it happened in the time of Dulumbu, mm. but the Dulumbu is still tight. Whatever you say, it takes key, close the ear. You don't want to hear because I'm local. If I reap, if I collect, if I loot, finish, and Nigeria scatter, Allah want to pay. That's his own prayer. Eh? Mm. Uh -huh. So, that's a local here. And watch out. I have said it before. If guys not take him, he will, be, he will be the last president of one Nigeria. So, in other words, you have seen division. My finally take its place, of course. Yes, Plan the Kalu said it. Instead of Biafra not to go, all the Nigeria should divide everybody. Plan the Kalu said it. And someone said it again, repeated it. Instead of Biafra not to have their freedom, then the Nigeria will scatter everybody go. But if they want one Nigeria to see the men, they should leave Biafra peacefully to go. Eh? This is why, Mr. President, Tulumbu, brother Nam de Kalo, with the right hand, take the left hand, plugging the, the fruit of corruption, plugging the fruit of corruption, so that if anything force him to stop, if anything become riot, what he will do? He will push Nam de Kalo out, then collect. All the whole food we collect, they don't put up in pocket already. So if Nigeria won't be one, let him be one. If Nigeria don't want to be one, let him be one. So he won't numb the Kalo tight. So that Biafra will come up with the anger. Biafra will come up with the violence. Then maybe Flamingo government of Nigeria, what time Flamingo government of Nigeria will bounce on Biafrans? We will kill them, we will subdue them, we will do this. They come with the full force. By then, 
Even we tell his people, we have eaten enough. It's time for us to go. Make we not join them to fight them to fight evil man again, no. As we join them, the time of our own world, to fight evil man. Now we are going to talk in words. We have developed Lagos. We have connected everything. Individually, we have met our game from Biafran oil, which is uh, as a nation, Yoruba nation, they have made their gain from Biafra riches. They can say, okay, no, to, we don't want to fight. To. Our hand is separate. To. Our hand is separate. To. We don't want to fight. To. We don't want to fight. But then they will go. They will go. They will not allow to follow to fight again. They will say, ah, it's not our son. No, no, I'm there for a fight. You know, they have no day. Where their target, they have collected their target. They have looted. And they have the same other resources. They have uh, 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 limestone. They have uh, oil. They have uh, gas. They have uh, gold. They will take their property go. That's their plan. This is why you see them agitating. You kill people. People must go. As if they do so, so that not to rise up and follow suit in their place. And you know anything that not rise up to do, they are unstoppable. So and they are shouting, kill people. People must go. People are corrupt. People are the problem of Nigeria. So if not to rise up to follow suit, they will put themselves out. This is why uh, protests, people man did not organize. They say evil man organized, Biafra organized, so that not will rise up, but they put them, themselves away. So, they know, Mr. President, Amadou Kulumbu know what he's planning. He's a wise man, he's not a fool. Let me tell you, anything riot now, heavy riot now, they are going. What are they looking for? They, mean, no, they don't collect as individual, collect gift to in people. Okay, look at all the whole posts. I don't know who holding it. Eh? Although Boris started it, but that's who are holding it now. So if Nigeria they good, fine. If not they good, fine. All of them good for Tulumbu and these people. Nigeria is good today. If for them, for their people and their people. Nigeria is bad today. If for them, if for him and his people. So they are not at loose. It's only we Biafra that are struggling still at loose. Until the day we free ourselves, if we control in one Nigeria, we still have to lose. Until the day, God to free us. But as as a country, Nigeria as a country, do you think we can continue to suffer like this? You know, as you guys, the IQ for price, you know, anytime from now, the prices of food will also go up because of the price of oil now has gone up. Do you think we can continue like this? This is why Abdullah and Abdullah he said Nigeria should divide. Corruption is too much. Because I've seen that Nigerians cannot continue like this. Well, well, the full animal that was there, do you think um, uh, Abdullah would have been, um, say what he's saying now? He will not say so. He will not say Joke apart. He will not say so. Yeah. He will not say so. And he has discovered that as Mr. President is going now, everybody is shouting. If he enter eight years and finish eight years, they will say that Satan has a rule. Is the turn of not to rule, and the same flani will come. And by the time, and by that time, by, by the time they come, that time, nothing for them again to lose. Tulumbu can finish everything. That is why he's shouting now that Tulumbu should go. Tulumbu should go. Divide Nigeria. Because in the next eight years, nothing will remain as Nigeria for to lose. Even Peter D or Ibo will come that time. We will not see you know, salary to take. To pay, to pay. To, to eat. You will not see. What will remain? Because why? Because Tulumbu is ready to, you know, to empty the tank. Because Tulumbu come the post. Nigerian pocket was leaking before. Now Tulumbu come with scissors to cut it. All the whole nash open so that everything will fall down. That's it. Epa now deserve. Epa deserve that celebration because. As according to Anamdekanu and what Anamdekanu have been saying is all this why that the corruption and that Nigeria is an illegal marriage. And um, do you think that's why you know um Epa is really jubilating, partying very hard, you know, in um in Finland? Do you think that's why he's um, celebrating? Um, you see, Nigerians 
the citizens of the real indigenous people of Nigerians, the real citizens of Nigerians, the common Nigerians, supposed to go to mosque or church to go and give thanksgiving to their anybody, the God is serving, to give thanksgiving on behalf of Nam de Carlo, on behalf of Sam Moneta, and on behalf of the government in exile. Eh? IPOB autopilot. They're supposed, they're supposed to go and thank God. Because God will use these people to open their eye. God uses these people to say the truth. Have you seen? So I think the whole Nigeria is supposed to be praising God and the clapping hand of someone like that. Eh? Because they have tried a lot. And thank God for Ekpa. For Ekpa and then the so On Sunday, they should do that. They should go to a church and do the thanksgiving in the church. You understand? So, I'm glad to lie. God will bless you for telling the whole truth that Nigeria has finished. Even Britain will be happy for Nigeria to disintegrate. I'm telling you because. I mean, the, 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 the benefit they are getting from Nigeria, Nigeria's divide. They are not getting it anymore. Britain, are you sure about I'm that? I'm telling you honestly. It's, it's, boy came and said, it's not going like to be fair. He said Nigeria is an enterprise. Nigeria is working for Britain. Yes, but it's, I, 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 should be, I should be saying it. That Nigeria is a British company. Royal Niger company. Change to Niger area from Niger area to Nigeria. I've been saying it before. Uh, Bola boy, put it in music. You understand? But British is not getting as they're getting before now. It seems that British is, is indirectly losing the grip of, of, of Nigeria because the president, Mr. Tribu, faced France. Uh, this man, Buhari, um, faced China. Tribu faced France. Now, um, Muslim Arab world, most in Saudi Arabia, are coming on the ground, taking over Nigeria. Okay, look at the, the gas pipeline from Potakot, from the creek to from the creek to to to, to uh, 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 um, uh, Morocco, from Morocco to Spain to supply Europe oil. Because Europe, we are afraid of Russia now. To supply Europe gas. Who is financing it? Who hold it? In Saudi Arabia, under Islamic Bank. Under Islamic Bank. And the people that own the gas, the Belfers don't know anything. They do not consult anybody. Whether they call themselves uh, Niger Delta or they call themselves South South or South East. Government of Buhari did not consult anybody. They only went to Saudi Arabia to come and finance it under Islamic Bank, which means Saudi Arabia has eighty percent share on that business. British is out. You understand what I'm saying? British is out. Buhari want it. Tribu start executing. Do you see it? So Britain them themselves will feel happy because they're losing the grip. You understand? Uh -huh. So, my people, go we go to fight for their fans. Go we go to speak for Nam de Carlo and uh, Sam Oneka. Go we go to use the Nigeria to justify them. And so shall it be in Jesus' name.